Hello everyone, this is uh, Black117 here, and today I'll be doing a brand new series in which uh, I'll be discussing like e-Pokemon and, dra and the Draft League uh, format, so uh, this is a brand new series I've been to bringing to the channels like every once a week or so. so. And today we'll be starting off with uh, none other than our probably like the one Pokemon that you guys know me probably yeah, you probably associate me the most, and that is a uh, Manaphy. So, um, but likewise, I'm gonna be working on like one Pokemon per uh, week. So, if you guys like any uh, suggestions, you can leave the leave some in the comments if you down. So maybe I'll work on them in the future. So, um, but for now, I'm gonna be fo work working on suggested Pokemon that like that like people have recommended to me what to do. So. However, I wanted to start off this series with a good old favorite of mine, so I think everyone knows this, knows this uh, Blue Angel Pokemon that is a uh, Manaphy, so. so... So when we're talking about Manaphy here, um, with guarding its base stats, it has a BST of, uh, of 100 across the force, which is basically typical for every any uh, Pixie or Mythical Event Legendary before, like, past uh, uh, Gen 6, so uh, with these like base 100 stats across the board, this allows Manaphy to pretty much be worked around with just about with almost any stat. So, as you can see, this is from uh, Bulbapedia. So, um, at level 50, you can see like, oh, I included the ranges from like, or from this, from the to showcase how like you could just max out just about any stat to your liking. So, yeah. At level 50s, you could get to 207, and level 100s, you get to 200. Oh, not 204, but like 440. So, as like to be honest, there's nothing really. There's no standout stats here, so. But nor there's a bad stat, so that's pretty much what it has it going. So, with stability being hydration, which cures the the user of any status options, not like not anything like you know. Like, and again, I was gonna—I was just gonna say track, but it doesn't cure like something like confusion or like, a curse. It cure only cures primary status such as like you know poison, sleep, um, that it like a, a paralysis. So just about like and freeze. But then again, I don't know how you're gonna—you just free, unthaw yourself via using uh you know scald. So yeah. So big question: Why draft Manaphy? So, Manaphy is pretty much one of the best overall water types in like tier format, whether it's like any like when it's allowed. So, uh, especially in Oras and, in, and now in uh, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. So, uh, with uh, with Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, Manaphy has kind of dipped in usage with the introduction of new uh, stronger grass types like you know Coco, enough grass, electrics like Coco, Cartana, Bulu. It just and also Z moves, but, but with access, but it still has one thing that's notable, that's access to like one of the best set of moves in the game, which is Tail Glow, and Tail Glow is pretty much a plus three in the special attack. So, if you're wondering why that special attack is kind of a mediocre, well, it just has that. So, going with it, so you can just set up on, on, only two times, and you can just go. So, just set up and potentially sweep. It has a sizable move pool to abuse its special attack, so like I said, like as I will just cover in the next section, um Manaphy has a very good special move pool just to abuse with like its uh, special attack. But uh, aside its water moves, so it's used as an offensive special attacker or wall breaker or sweeper, so Manaphy is pretty much like one of the one of those Pokemon that you just have to deal with. If you don't take care of it, it gets like pretty much difficult to take down and it could sweep opposing teams, and especially with that 100 and uh, bulk across the board, with its uh, 100 HP defenses, it's just very difficult to take down without like you know something as like offensively hard hitting or like that, in which like you have like fear revenge killers for or so. As we'll talk about those uh, checks and encounters later on in this section. So, um, in terms of moves. Um, popular options include Skull, Surf, Ice Beam, like Psychic, Tail Glow, Combine. Like, I've, here's a list of all these moves I've, I've got down. So, Skull and Surf pretty much 
preference because Manaphy doesn't have access to Hydro Pump, but why would you use that? So, um, Scald Surf is really nice because it's pretty. It's um, Scald's basically for like Burning's targets and helps up with like potential setup. That's one of the reasons why Manaphy could be threatening. And Surf is just there for just mainly power, mainly now because of the axe with. Uh, in Gen 7, you now have access to Z-Move, so, and Z-Surf is stronger than Scald, so. Um, Ice Beam, Psychic is pretty much coverage options. Ice Beam is generally for grass types, and Psychic is for, like, opposing, like, uh, poison Pokemon. Notably, like, the water poison types, like, you know, Toxapex and Tentacruel that he has trouble breaking down, so. And also all the grass types that usually have, like, grass poison, so. As you can see, I list down Tailglow, Call Mine, as its uh, setup options. Tailglow, uh, as mentioned, raises your stats to plus three. Call Mine's a really interesting move, which increases your special attack and special defense by plus one, respectively, in each stat. So, very good like uh, setup sweeper as well. So, if you could like raise it to that partner that side. So, you have uh, some grass coverage with Energy Ball and Grass Knot, in which you whether or not you want to raise either, whether or not you want to hit like opposing uh, water types, that's really nice. And then you have hidden power of your choice. Normally you'd see like fire or electric because of course uh, Manaphy would need like something to max into like let's say a Feral Thorn or like opposing water or like Gera. So then you have Rain Dance, which makes use of its hydration ability and uh, Dazzling Gleam, so which attacks opposing uh, fighting. Uh, and dragon type Pokemon, so as well as Dark, so it's a no, it's one way to like it's some it's a move that like people forget Manfi has, but it learns it in Gen Six, so yeah. And lastly, Substitute, which uh, allows Manfi to create like a a decoy at the cost of like one fourth of its HP, so which is pretty much helpful for like uh, sub for certain sets that we'll discuss. So other options include Knock Off. U-turn, Shadow Ball, another coverage option to hit Psychic and uh, Ghost types. Normally you don't see that unless you're facing something like a Cresselia. Toxic, Rest, when when paired with right, Rain Dance, you you see that often. So Acid Armor, Heal Bill, it could also be a Cleric as you can see. Add Screener with Reflect, Light Screen. It also has access to Charm, so it can reduce the opposing uh, opponent's attack stat by like minus two. So it's really nice to have that. So. In case you're dealing with like a uh, like a difficult like visit physical attacker, like with that, pair that with Skull, that's gonna be nice to have. So, and, and finally, Heart Swap is really Manaphy's a signature move and can't be very key, well until Magirna came around. But um, but it's very interesting because like uh, it changes like the it swaps the opposing stat boost. So it might, it's a really cool tech option to have when you're facing opposing uh, DM users. So yeah. Um, so, item choices. As you can see, um, normally you want to pair this thing with Z-Move. And here's some common options. Z, with Waterium Z, you have uh, rain, Z Rain Dance, which raises speed to plus one and sets up the weather. So, so it's pretty much kind of like a double dance in a way. Um, you also have Z Surf, Z Scald, which is like way boosted, like Toglo can just. Pretty much nuke anything, so yeah. Uh, then you have leftovers, which is very nice to have. You have gradual recovery, but with the access, with but the fact that you have uh, um, hundred uh, hundred defenses across and HP across the board, it's really it's really nice to have with a gradual recovery that's like infinite, and it really helps with like substitute sets. So yeah. Um, then we have the fifty percent berries or beyond berries or whatever you want to call it. Which gives you like 50% HP whenever you're below your 25% total. So it's kind of like using like let's say something like Recover or Roost like a one time. So it's very seen on like uh, more defensive sets, which is that want that appreciate the immediate damage, or that appreciate like the immediate health recovery. And you could activate these berries like when you're upon setting up rock, when you're like entering like a. Uh, into hazard, so it's really nice to have that. So then, um, so I will say that don't use the figgy berry because most of its natures, most of Manaphy's natures are G 
geared for like special att uh, special attack or something. It's always like reducing its uh, attack, physical attack stat. So it'll confuse Manaphy and you don't want to play around with RNG, so unless you're that type of player. So then you have uh, Wakan and uh, Rindo Berry, which reduce the, the super effectiveness of Legend Grass move by 50%. Pretty much self explanatory there. If you want to take a hit from, say, Coco or Cortana, so and retaliate back, so or any anything else. So then you have like uh, expert build life orbs to boost the power of your coverage options. Expert build just boosts the power of your super effective moves by 20%. There's life orb which boosts the power of uh, your moves by 30%, but then take 10% recoil. So that's interesting. So yeah. Uh, so sets. So here I listed two sets, which uh, which are basically Telgo sets. The first one's pretty much self-explanatory. It's Scald, Surf. Pretty much you would. It's always going to be between Scald and Surf. Whether you want to burn targets, all uh, like physical targets on the switch in or or whatever, or you want power with Surf. So that's the thing. Then you have, uh, or you want to like get some crucial Oko. So then it's like Ice Beam just to hit like let's say like a. Uh, Coverage option, like coverage mods, like you know, grass types and dragons, and flying Pokemon. So, yeah, Tail Glow and a filler of your choice coverage option, whether it's gonna be, let's say, like a uh, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, or whatever. So, um, for the first set, it's pretty much max speed to speed tag with base hundreds, and Water Ice is pretty much like pretty standard for most uh, water types, which hits most Pokemon, anyways. And it's pretty much a generic set with lefties, so you can also pair that with like a 50% berry if you like. Or like let's say, uh, like I said, this is like, since this is draft league, you don't have to like use, run these sets the same way. This is just an example what you would see or what to expect from Manaphy, so yeah. Um, for the, That's pretty much, the first set's pretty much cookie cutter. Second set's probably like the one you'll more likely see in draft league. Where it's just like the max HP, max speed ones, or like some bulk investment. And like I said, you don't have to tailor the speed to max to be max. You can only like have enough speed to like let's say uh, um um to at least uh, outspeed a certain target. Let's say like go enough to where you could outspeed say like Landorus. E, so so then you could just put some into defenses. So um so the second set is pretty much interesting because uh, you're using a substitute and with Manaphy it's one of the it's one of the like a few Pokemon well, in the game that can actually take advantage of bringing of bringing or using uh, one like substitutes that could that can't be broken by uh, seismic toss or like nightshade so you you have very like like pretty much have fat substitutes with really good defenses and it allows you to set up like let's say a tail glow or a calm mind so it's really nice to have, so. But the thing is, with this set, you're d generally sacrificing some form of attacking power, speed, HP, or like a, a coverage option, so. That's something you have to take note, so. Second set is uh, Hydration, the tank sets. Um, so this one takes advantage of uh, its Hydration ability, so. These are uncommon, but you might see these, so. Especially like the fourth set, so. The first set is kind of like a one I worked on, which is pretty much like acts like a physical wall. So it's like Skull just, just shooting for burns, and then Ice Beam or coverage option. Then you have Rain Dance to boost the power of your Skull or activate rate uh, hydration. And then you have Rest to recover and then like back immediately to 100% HP. So instead of like a, like let's say like using something like a Roost, which only recovers you like 50%. You could use like uh, rest and rain, and it just recovers immediately because after the turn. So and it's really nice to block status as well. So um, this is pretty much a physical wall, and the speed basically top speed base seventy. So like I said, you can change it whatever you want, so how bulky, how fast you want it to be. So the second set's more so like um, um, a max defense max uh, set with the. Uh, Pretty much access to Calm Mind or Tail Glow. And it's pretty much like, sort of like, it's pretty much set on to like sweep opposing teams. And this is what, with the uh, mono attacking Scald, Surf, and then you have Brain Dance, Calm Mind, Rest, or Tail Glow, Calm Mind, so yeah. 
this very really, like self-sustaining Manaphy because like it's really hard to break down this Manaphy without having some form of like let's say resistance water resistances so it's a very threatening set because it could just like outdo or out like stall a certain team whatnot so and then just like just go through it like with like rain dance and, and boosted like special attack so yeah so pretty much a set that you kind of have to prepare for hydration and so yeah lastly uh z option pretty much uh z option and utility so you might see like some manaphys carry like uh, z moves like let's say waterium z or like psychic or Iseum or ferium so which is usually you want to have like surf because like you want to increase the power of your Waterium of your Waterium Z water Z Zerf, so then you have Ice Psychic Ice Beam coverage option, Tail Glow, and then like Rain Dance for like if you want to have access to Z Rain Dance so you can get plus one speed, so yeah. Then the last the last set I have here is like pretty much utility, so um Scald, Knockoff, U Turn. Pretty nice options if you ask me. You just like remove items, just pivot out, burn stuff, and then like last options pretty much to like uh Move like let's say uh, it's pretty much up to your to your choice basically on your team. So hard slot pretty much to remove stats. Toxic to uh, let's say wear down walls and heal bill is pretty much to be your cleric. So yeah. Um. So this next section is pretty much the one I probably overdid. So here we are going to talk about Manaphy partners. So. We can't have like a draft league analysis without talking about like Pokemon you want to pair with Manaphy, so um and also the counter checks and counters as well. So um in terms of like uh, partners, you want to have like a good ground type Pokemon with coverage, utility, and immediate offense. I'll get to that in the section. And Dragon types also uh, resist both of Manaphy's weaknesses in Middle Grass and Electric, and form a strong offensive duel. Fire types threaten problematic fire. Grass types, offensively capable and are and provide a defensive niche. So, um, certain fire types can do that. So, grass type Pokemon work fairly well. This bunch opposing electric grass type hits while support Manaphy with their utility options. Pretty much self-explanatory there. Like with mods like Venusaur and Amoongus, we'll get to that in a bit. So, and then you would want to have like a, um, let's say an electric type just to break down opposing uh. Water types because sometimes you don't want to have that carry that option that coverage option for mana let's say energy ball or a grass knot. So and lastly, of course, uh, you want to have Pokemon that are immune or or have great resistance to grass and electric types. So pretty much self-explanatory there. And you see like some Pokemon are listed down. So and so here are some ground types. So Nido King and Nido Queen threaten both electric and grass types with like their sheer force coverage options. They have a lot of like like Nido Queen and Nido Queen Nido King and Nido Queen like, have like some of the best coverage. I might talk about them in the future, so. Um but both wide move pools and set up hat like entry hazards, so um stealth rocks and toxic spikes, so it's really nice to pair mana if you want either one of Nido King or Nido Queen, so S Control provides hazard support with rocks Spin and can be a secondary sweeper, so pretty much less explanatory with Excadrill because Excadrill is like one of the deadliest like ground types in the format. So because you could just like you could, you could like uh, set up your own hazards, you could spin, you could like it could deal with electric types really well unless like they have like coverage options. Um, but yeah, it could be very bulky as well. So then we have like a uh, ground and flying types like uh, Thunderous T, Gliscor, Glagord, to the Bride, Hazard Support with Rocks, E Fog. They can be built defensively and can pivot out with U turns and just allow for setup chances. So, like, Thunderous T is pretty off, self explanatory. I don't even want to explain that one. So, <laughs> has Intimidate, U turn, Knock Off, pivots out. I could do, like, it, it, it deserves its own video one day. So, yeah. Then you have mods like Glag, like, Whisker and Glagger that's just deals with like uh, opposing electric and grass types. But it's like ground flying is really nice to have because they can deal with those typing, so yeah. Then lastly we have Mammoth Swine, which nearly and also Pilot Swine, by like Pilot Swine, which pressures nearly all Pokemon, including uh electric grass types thanks to its uh ice ground type stab, so really nice to have. Then you have uh ground type Pokemon, I mean not ground, or dragon type Pokemon, so 
um, at least it's Kira B and a Space Swarm, regular Kira, which walls, electric grass, and water types will exert offensive pressure or setup. So these guys are really strong, so. but they're like massive HP and uh, moderately good defenses. They, I think like both Kirims like have above like base uh, at plus 120 stats across the, like offensive stats at the very least. I know Kirim has like around like regular Kirim has like the 130, whereas Kirim B is like 170 attack and 120 special attack, so which is still acceptable. But people often sleep on Kirim, so regular Kirim as well. So Garchomp has access to rocks, is immune to electric moves, and set up, has set up options like Source Dance. So. The like Garchomp is really bulky, compared to a very heavy and nice offensive core with Manaphy. Both regular Lottie's twins and their Mega Forms, if allowed. Keyword is allowed because some leagues do ban make both Mega Lottie's. They'll so have Defog, Support Utility, Reads, Wish, Healing Wish for Latias and Memento for Latios, and have special, have great special offensive pairing, so very nice to have with these guys. So. And then there's other mods I've listed down that could be great wall breakers and sweepers. That pair probably went well with Manaphy, like Hydreigon, XRS, Salamence, Dragonite, Zygarde, and then also for Megas, for Mega Charizard X and Mega Altaria pair really well. They could like really sweep. So, freaking of fire types, Mega Charizard X resist grass electric types, has boosted stabs and has multiple setup options. Pretty much very deadly core if you want if you're ever dealing with a team with Manaphy and Char X. So. Um, because like Char X really loves to face against grass, opposing grass, and like electric type mods. Like, they, it really loves to face them. Then you have Alolan Marowak, which loves to switch into electric type moves with Lightning Rod and then just deal massive damage thanks to its uh, thick club. So, then you have like, I listed these three down because normally certain teams will have like either one or the other in draft league. So, like Arcanine, Entei, and Cineroar have above average defensive. Like or physical or power, and it can take on offensive threat, threats with like their bulk investment or use of intimidated burn. So mostly Arcanine can uh, intimidate, whereas like you know, Mons like Entei and uh, oh yeah, also Incineroar. Like I forgot to mention, Incineroar does have access to uh, intimidate now with its uh, ability to release so and burn. So and Entei can like burn stuff with a Sacred Fire. So um, to help Manaphy like set up so. Then you have Rota Mage to burn, to pivot around, stuff, and then you have like fire fighting type star starters like Blaziken, Infernape, and Boars, which are like very good wall breakers as well, so... Oh, sorry. Uh, then you have grass types like uh, Moongus, Tangrel, Mega Venusaur that just can form a really good defensive backbone. It can like uh, support Manaphy with uh, sleep status, normally with sleep powder, uh, Boar, and they really like like to switch into those electric and grass types. Very nice to have. Then you have like Ro Feral Thorn, Roserade, Chestnut, which they provide like rocks. I mean not rock, like not well yeah, rock entry hazard supports with like rocks, P spikes, and uh, and most importantly spikes. And they can really help out Manaphy like get certain KOs. So yeah. Then you also have like Celebi and Shaman, which are very nice to have because uh, one their base. They're like they're pissed, they're like basically pixie Pokemon, which with base 100 stats across the board, and you have access to stuff like Leech Seeds, Greens, Tailwind, Trick Room, etc. So if you're into using those, so, so. Cartana, Top of Bulu, Breloom have high attacking stats and have high speed, priority, setup, and utility. So like Cartana, Breloom can like pretty much like form another offensive dueling with the uh, Manaphy, and have like. I can really pressure opposing teams as well, so yeah. Then we get to the electric types, which most of the time you're gonna see like man if you paired with like fast electric, let's say like Coco, Zerora, Raikou, Mega Manetric, because they're really really fast and can deal with most water. They can pressure most water type Pokemon. Oftentimes you will see. There's also times where you see Thunderous, Thunderous T, and Zapdos paired with man if you, because they have like. High special attack and utility with like defog, and of course there's gonna be like some Pokemon that are immune to electric moves with the to ability like 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 Strike Striker, Jolteon, Raichu. So and also like uh, 
most of the Pokemon here like have access to Bolt Switch. Like mostly the Rome Forms, Electros, Galvantula, and Heliolisk. I do want to mention Galvantula because it does have access to Spike, oh, not Spikes, but like a uh, Sticky Web. So it's nice to pair that with Manaphy to like reduce the speed of the opposing team and just set up and just sweep. You might just have like a bulkier set. Then you have like rain oriented stuff. I will say that in draft league, you should be careful about like drafting full rain a full rain team. So like, like maybe have it as a set part of your team, but not like fully commit because it's pretty much easy to set up for a beat. So, but that said, I'm just like talk about this. So either Pelipper and Politoe can work to set up rain. So yeah. And you usually want to pair it with like, uh, like another secondary option, like let's say Swamper, Ludigi, Kingdra, Seismitoad, and Kubitops. And of course, you want to have a good grass type because to deal with opposing waters. And so, and lastly, uh, ranks are users such as Klefki, Tornus Eye, Thunderous Eye, and Winsicott can provide like support, like can set up the rain with the Prankster Rain Dance. And have like options like taunt, defog, screens, and U-turn. So, and also I do want to mention that if you're gonna do, if the only benefit with having rain is that one benefit is that you can activate uh, Manaphy's uh, hydration. So that's like that's like one less move slot to like run rest. So that's gonna have like an instant recovery move every time. So that's that's like a good benefit from it. So other partners here miscellaneous. So screen setters. From like the likes of bulky psychic types like uh Cresselia, Oxy, Mesprit, so like the like Guardians, Bronzong, and a little Ninetales with the uh, Aura Veil. Then you have flying types like Cro Tornus T, Togekiss, Crobat, Gliscor, because they usually do well against grass types and are bulky pivots with access to Defog. So then Sapsip for Pokemon are usually immune to grass type moves such as Miltank, Gudra, Buffalon, etc. These are just like some takeaway mods, so like. Gudra could take on like opposing like uh like grass types very nicely and has access to uh um a good wide cover up uh, pool as well. And Melt Tank is like uh good like wall, it's a good tank, it has good ability though across with Dick Bat, so and Buffalon just hits hard. It's very good low turret threat, so now Manaphy counters, checks and counters, so general consensus is you wanna have multiple uh like Checks to Manaphy given its first set versatility and potential partners. So here's some partners you want to have for just dealing with Manaphy. It's like offensive electric types with stab, like moves strong enough to Oko or to a kill are very nice to have because you want to deal with Manaphy in that one turn before it sets up. So it needs to set up one tail glow in that one turn. So you got to be very, very, you got to take care of it very quickly. So. Then you have grass types who could take a boosted hit with like their with their special bulk and Oko manage it easily or status it, like I mentioned. Um, dedicated Pokemon with high special defense take boosted hits. Revenge killers were often offensively capable of pressuring Manaphy or at least preventing setup. And lastly, specialized Pokemon who ignore unaware Togolo, where unaware users are fans of revenge killers, useless all best, or can withstand a boosted attack with a type reducing berry. So. Then I'm just, we're just gonna go talk about these uh, X encounters. As I mentioned, most electric types fit this bill, so like usually the fast electric types like Coco, Ico, Thunder Swarms, Magnetic, Heliolisk. Heliolisk gets a, a special mention because it does have access to a dry skin, which makes it so that water moves don't affect it and it gets recovery. So then you have like most of the electric types have Bolt Switch, so they can just pivot out and then lastly you have uh if you pair with a z move like they're likely gonna kill manaphy with like say z thunderbolt or z thunder or whatever you want to call it so yeah then you have uh grass types and sun i'll talk about that in a bit most grass types that are built special defensive with and take a hit lose a different manaphy regain hp and beat it back 1v1 so most of these pokemon include mega venusaur amungus tangrowth cray dilly with storm drain top bulu uh, Obama, Snow, and Feral Thorn. Those are really threat, like major checks and counters like there. And they're just fast offensive checks like Superior, Mega Sceptile, Artana, Virizion, and even the Shaman and, and Celebi, really speed tie though. 
Um, you gotta deal with those threats immediately, so. Powerful Sweepers, like, um, and, ooh, also Dread and Manaphy as well, especially, like, Mons, like, Set Up the Sun, like, Torkoal and Charwine, and another one, not another one Ninetales, uh, regular Ninetales, so. So, any Grass type with strong Z-Move user, and just deal with it, like, with strong, like, Z-Move option, so, let's say, like, Char, like, Rizian or, or Tapabulu, just, like, use the, uh, Leaf Blade or Wood Hammer, they just still knock out mana immediately. Almost eviscerated, so. Then you have your special defensive bonds, which include, like, I, I had, a, like, a long list right here, like, right here, so, like, Blissey, Chansey, but they usually are taking advantage of sub. Then you have bonds like Sylveon, Mew, Latias, Fable, Florges, Cresselia, Porygon 2. Usually deal with it. Specialized water types such as Toxapex, uh, Tentacruel, Suicune, Mantine, Gastrodon, and Jellicent can wall it or can remove its uh, hazard, its uh, stats with Roar or Haze. Physical attackers with high special defense such as Snorlax, Kirin B, Raquanid, Upa U, Virizion, and Top of Bulu can take on Manaphy very nicely. They do have to watch out for getting burned, but they can just. If they don't get burned, they're just gonna just do a massive or just Oko Manaphy straight up. So then you have Combine users who could like attempt to beat Manaphy in a 1v1 if they could set up with like Combines first, let's like, say like Yui Nicholas. Uh, also, Clef unaware of Fable. I'll get to that one. Jirachi, Suiku, and Cresselia. So, and finally, you can use a uh, Assault Vest to take boosted hits very nicely. So, those Assault Vest users like Snorlax can, and Kirin B can work. So, then you have offensive like pressure or basically revenge killers or mons that just outspeed Manaphy straight out. So, or that I have like a boosted item or like like specs or band or something like that or Z move. So like Mega Lopunny, Mega Dancy, Lotties, Garchomp, Revile. Like most of the Pokemon like hit very hard I mentioned. And can just two shot Manaphy so. And then like as I mentioned like before, Full Cure your highly offensive Pokemon can kill really kill Manaphy or can force it out. So like Curum B, Reuniclus, Norlax, Char X, Mega Medicham, Mega Gardevoir, and Mega Heracross. They just do massive damage in general, so yeah. Then you have like Scarfers that could just pick them off. Usually with like a good typing advantage like Bulu, uh, Zergatry, and Breloom. And then you have like priority users that you, that could just pick off Manaphy, so yeah. Lastly, uh, these are just lowers and miscellaneous stuff. Unaware users such as like Clefable, Pikamuku, Quagsire can just take a boost, boosted hits from Tegwell, CM sets respectively. So you got to be very careful with Quagsire because it could have like Energy Ball, but especially defensive Clefable can be a threat to Manaphy, so yeah. Then you have Disruption sets such as Taunt, Disable, Encore, Roar, Haze, even Destiny Bomb to like prevent or stop a sweep. Um, if there is no Rain Dance set, like let's say if Manaphy has no Rain Dance, you can still use the status options to, just, to slow it down or like wear it down. And you have like... And also, if you have access to like a uh, type reducing berries like Pusho, Rindo, or Yachi Berry, you can use that to like take a hit, take advantage of it, and then retaliate back. So, and lastly, if all else doesn't fail, you can always run Light Screen or Aravel to like cut the special da attack damage to half. So, yeah. And overall verdict, I would say like um, Manaphy is one of like the best. <laughs> I still think that it's kind of like dropped down in usage compared to that of Ornoras, but like, I'm not in like Draft League, but it's still like one of the best premier like uh, special attackers in the format. The thing is that it just needs that one turn of setup, but from Tail Glow or like has like, or like Combine and it just to get going now. And with like how fast paced like, like, like Draft League battles have become, like, like it's probably like um for the better that like um that Manaphy did get nerfed. But yeah. So but one thing about Manaphy is that it's very easy to build around, as you can see. And with like put all its versatile sets and like that could be mostly geared to offensive or defensive like like um 
uh, sets or capabilities, so yeah. Um, the only thing I would say is that, like, um, about Manaphy is that you have to kind of respect it, um, in every battle. You c unless you have, like, access to, like, hyper-offensive mons, and then you just prevent it from, like, getting, like, set up. But even then, like, if Manaphy sets up, let's say, like, say Rain Dance and with a C Rain Dance plus Tail Glow, like, those offensive teams can just get blown back easily, so yeah. But then again, you would, the player would never let that happen, so... Like, those two turns, exactly... Those two turns of a double dance set, like, happen, so yeah. But even then, you still have to, like, consider... You have to, like, consider facing or... Man, if you ever consider using it, because it's... It's a very good mod, in general. It's always gonna be, like, one of the best, like... Uh, offensive water types in the format, so yeah. But as long as I have access to like its defenses, its move pool, and its uh, access to tail glow and setup, it's gonna be like one of the, the pro one of the best Pokemon you gotta watch out for. So for better, or for worse. So yeah. Um, overall, I'd say Manaphy is pretty good. Um. Um. So yeah. Um. I guess that's it. So that is all. That is the end of our uh, our. Uh, first uh, analysis so um like i said so i'm gonna be doing uh, more pokemon like in due time so or uh, and like once a week so at least uh um i think every uh tuesday wednesday thursday somewhere around that line like i'll try to get like a new video every time so yeah or if not that week the week before the week after so yeah so with that said, like, uh, what are your thoughts about Manaphy and the draft league format? So, and and also, is there anything, uh, any sort of critique that you would say about this like style of video? I know it's sort of like, like a presentation of sense, in sense, but like I kind of wanted to go like discuss it instead of just going on showdown and like you know discussing the sets individually, like encounters. Like I think it was, this was a bit more like, at least presentable in a way so yeah um so yeah um um thank you guys for watching and uh um leave a like comment or subscribe if you like this type of comment uh content so um and like i said i'll catch you guys later next week so peace